All right, welcome everybody. It's uh, been a little bit to get this game started, but we are underway. We have uh, McStebs, Age 8, and A440 as the opponents. And this week, joining me on call, we have Hades. Hi, everyone. All right, welcome. Thanks for joining me. And yeah, this should be this should be a fun week. These are some good opponents. Um, a440, I don't think is as known uh, to the Terra Mystica world, but he's a friend I've met at the World Board Game Championships. I'll probably wind up calling him AJ throughout the stream. And uh, he is one of the strongest overall gamers I know. There's a, a prize for like overall gaming prowess at the World Board Game Championships, and AJ has won it for the past two years. Um, so yeah. Uh, he has racked up wins and all sort of things. I don't think he's a terabistic specialist, but uh... anyhow, uh, as for the game itself, I'm generally excited. I enjoy games that have uh, high-scoring tracks, and this looks pretty good to me. Yeah, the track looks pretty fine. I think your favorite witches are going to be picked, unless someone blocks them with Orin. I think so too. Um, generally, yeah, I just see a track that we have temples into dwellings, which is a great progression. Maybe round three trading posts for some faction, but round five trading posts is great. Round six towns looks good. Past tiles have tons of points. Not a ton of yep. coins. Uh, relatively few coins in the past, and not a much for the cults. So I do think the people that wanted to put an alchemist here, understandably, are sad. But the first pick is already Darkling, so no alchemists. Yeah, um, early factions of Darklings and Mermaids here. Um, makes sense. Uh, what's your instincts on what to throw in after those guys? Well, I would be inclined towards Witches. You still like putting in witches, uh, even with that's going to make mermaids color sandwiched? I guess. <laughs> no, that's fair. Some players don't care about that. I, As players that watch my stream a lot know that I care about that. But uh, we're partly, I'm partly playing with you this week. So part of the fun of this series is to lead myself away from lines that I would normally go down. Yeah, well, even Chaos looks pretty good to me. The current bonuses are nice, and they can, like, maybe get a Sanctuary round one on the third position, because the fourth player would mostly go for the deck. Yeah, I, I think Chaos Magicians are decent here, too. Late Towns is a little bit of a bummer for them, but I think they're good. I think Witches are fine. Uh, I actually think Dwarves or Engineers are fine. Um, I even think, nomads. Even I nomads think, are not that bad. I was going to say, and the nomads, yeah, I agree. All that's very playable. Uh, and I don't really care which uh, all that badly. So I'll let you make the final call on what you want in here. Well, then let's go with the Chaos Magicians. Ooh, all right. I'm in. All right. So, yeah, currently I would expect everybody to just start at this. I would expect Chaos to start at the center. Oh my gosh, we get Fakirs. That's funky. That does hurt CM a bit. Yeah. Potentially a good bit. It's not super clear to me what'll happen yet chaos i think still would like to start at the center and the risk of course is if fakirs are starting f3 and somehow get to e6 they could beat you to e8 which is pretty painful um darklings might though start i don't know if darklings start center this game because yeah 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 nothing there except for some leech and then the other awkward thing here, actually, is Darklings are going to have no neighbors in the east. Exactly. So one thing that is 
possible for darklings to do would be dig through e6 to f4 because f4 would not be that contested if they manage to get e6 then they have f4 so they can potentially make a turn there oh that's actually a very interesting and great insight yeah i don't think i would have noticed that right away but you first action can just dig the center i don't think you care that bad this game if you don't get earth one i think with the low coin nature i think fire one's gonna be okay and yes. just the fact there's late towns yeah uh i actually really like that i would i'd be willing to bid dark leads here i'm not sure what your instincts are um i think mermaids are okay but i i, I think Mermaids are great if Darklings are not at C1, and I don't know for sure if Darklings are going to stay away. Yeah. I think Darklings would have to go for C1 here because there is no neighbor in the east. Yeah, and in which case I don't love mermaids. I think they're fine. Uh, I guess mermaids and chaos will get a ton of cult points. Darklings and fakirs tend to stay away from the cults, so you can actually go for a kind of tall mermaids game here, focusing on ship scoring, trading posts, passes. So I don't know. I I, I would probably bid darklings, but I'm not opposed to a mermaids bid. Not sure what your thoughts are. Uh, I would prefer chaos magicians over mermaids. Would because, you be, uh, would, that's fair. What are you bidding here? Um, my clock's gonna burn down so soon. Okay, okay. So I think we we we, we can bump once on the darklings because darklings are never bad. Yeah. But you would you would bid chaos magicians before mermaids here. Yeah. Okay. I would normally take mermaids over chaos. I think, but. Uh, I think that's fair. Uh, ultimately, I think I think the main thing in this auction is largely going to be staying away from Fakirs. Although Fakirs are going to get a lot of early leech and start with the spade, but they also have a lot of pressures on expanding. Yes, yeah. So if if Darklings go C one, then then Fakirs have a problem getting to B two, right? So Darkling might beat them to it. Um, so what are you bidding here? Darklings or uh, Chaos? Darklings again? Yeah, I, would, I, would yeah. I think Darklings are quite safe. Uh, I think there's a, definitely a chance to overbid them, but... All right, I'm willing to bid Darklings one more time. It's come back to us already. Okay, so now that I look at the bonus tiles, I think mermaids are getting the double speed for sure. I would agree. Unless Kios chooses to go for the burger energy card and takes E7. Yeah, I would expect Fakirs to take the spade. I would expect Chaos to just go for the big building sanctuary open. And then, yeah, I would expect mermaids are going to get worker power, which means they get to open temple for dwellings, I think, right? So I, I still think mermaids are quite good, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much good. They, they have a really strong opening. So, like, it depends, like, if Darklings dig on the first turn or not. Because mermaid can use a double spade on the second turn, right? They don't have to necessarily do it on the first turn because no one can contest them on the energy. Yeah, so uh, uh, we have the option to bid Darklings or Mermaids or Chaos. Uh, I would bid Mermaids here now, but I'm not sure you're still Team Mermaids over Team Chaos or not. Well, I think we should go for Mermaids. Because right. we can secure our one and double spades. I think there's, I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot to like about mermaids at this point. I would go one more on mermaids still here. Yeah. All right. Um, at a certain point, I agree that chaos are still playable here. The question is how far are we bidding mermaids 
or Darklings. Not yeah. What's your what's your preference here? It's back on us already. I would go mermaids one more. I think. Okay. Okay. And go mermaids one once more. So like um, the advantage that chaos magicians have is they would they would they can uh, they can keep farming the the SH bonus card and they can keep hopping between the ship BP nine and the SH card. I think the pastels are reasonably good for chaos. I think the cults are gonna be fine for chaos. Uh, I think if chaos gets E eight, it's fine. I just yeah, if they actually get the center, I think it's gonna be okay for them. But yeah, I, there's some long term concerns for chaos, but I don't know when to bid for them again. Even if like even in the center, if suppose suppose they don't get E eight, they would still have the option to take uh, F four. With a double speed. Sometimes, yeah, it's true. Uh, well, do you want to bid chaos here? I mean, what's your what's your instinct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should go for chaos now. All right, I think it's fair. I think there's certainly some upside to be had there. All right, it's back on us. I would jump to mermaids and then probably back to chaos would be my instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just bid down a little. Uh, the real question is at what point is anybody actually taking Fakirs? And I still don't know. I'm not sure Fakirs are awful, but. It don't seem to be really good because it's already, it's already a low point setup, right? And without the landscape, they can't do much. The I I agree. I think you kind of like have to go fire one Fakirs, and it's awkward. And uh, and also like in in the last round, making three towns is kind of painful for as Fakirs. Yes, I mean Fakirs in this setup making two towns is far from assured. So yeah, I agree. It's tough. Like it, with these games that have like really high natural scoring and not good natural economy are kind of just the bane of Fakir's existence because Fakir's are good at making points and they're not good at economy. Uh, all right. I think I might be back to bidding Darklings, maybe Mermaids. Yeah, I think I think everyone uh, like apart from Fakir's, everyone's gonna go down at least five more points. I should go down at least five more. points. All right. I'm just going to kind of rotate through Mermaid's Darklings Chaos then. Because I think I agree with you. I just don't see the Fakir's game plan. I like the Mermaid's game plan a good bit, even if they get only two towns. I think there's just enough ways to play just take fire one early, build your way to water one, score a bunch on trading posts, ship scoring. I think that works pretty well for them. And they can play pretty culty then too, because again, the Fakirs and Darklings aren't going to contest cults. So. Uh, I tempted a bit Darklings here and then Chaos, and yeah, as we say, just kind of bid everybody down a bit until Fakirs get Closer. Fakirs can potentially open double temple. Will that be any good? Oh, that's true. They could, and then they just use their spade to leave something yellow. Or they could yeah, just I'm take the two, they or they could even take the two workers. Huh, interesting. They just, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They just take the workers and leave the spade. Yeah, passing on the spade is painful, but. That kind of uh, it balances their economy and the points, both the both the things. Like they can go for air two and say fire one, maybe with both the I, temples. I agree. You might if you go double temple, you might just go double economy favors as Fakirs here. Yeah, that might that might work. That's an interesting line, at least.
Uh, so responding to oh. chat, I do agree that Fakirs are going to... You're going to be pretty worker-starved, admittedly, if you open Double Temple. I agree with that. But um, there's some workers on the past tiles, at least. So, supposing Fakirs go for two temples, they can... And they have two priests for the second round. They can at least, they, they would be able to make two dwellings in the second round. Yeah. With one speed. All right, back to us to bid. Um, chaos or mermaids? Chaos. All right, that's fair. I still, I'm a sucker for going for mermaids when I think I'm getting a temple for dwelling opening, but I think Chaos still have some good things going for him here, too. All right. Make four dwellings. Well, I think Make mermaids are, mer well, so they'll, they'll end the round with four dwellings, right? They're opening worker power, so mermaids should get to end round one with temple four dwellings, assuming they get worker power and double dig, which looks likely yeah um so i like that but uh i mean i also still just like darklings in first seat here it's probably time for one more darklings bid yep So responding to chat, deranged. Uh, if Fakirs manage to get E6 in round one, if they take the spade, I agree that I think it's an okay price for Fakirs at this point then. But I don't know. I do think there's some Darklings players that will not start in the center this game. So maybe, but uh, it's I don't know. I <laughs> I'm always afraid to take the 30 faction imagining the best case scenario because all too often i find myself playing the 30 faction in one of the worst case scenarios and then i regret everything People are really warming up to mermaids the more this auction's been going on, which, again, honestly makes total sense to me. I think mermaids that are getting to open with that worker power tile here, I think there's a lot of ways their game plan goes very well. Um, yeah. I, I'm i not super interested in mermaids anymore, but yeah, I, I do think mermaids are a good, good idea here. I think there's a good number of things working for them, but... Um, I'm not opposed to another Darklings bid. I'm okay with... I, honestly, I'm okay with any of Chaos Mermaids or Darklings here. Not sure what your instincts are. I would go for Chaos at this point. All right. Because it, it appears that someone is... Someone might be ready to jump. I think we're getting close to this auction being over, yeah. This... <laughs> Is there a consideration to jump into Fakirs if one of the weaker players is on Darklings? Uh, maybe, but I also don't necessarily think the weaker players are that much weaker. I mean, their ratings suggest they're not great, but they're, I think both of these players are the sorts that absolutely can put together very strong games. So I'm not, I'm not betting too much on differences here. Uh, as for where Chaos Magician's second town is, I mean, the dream is probably something over here in the upper right.
<laughs> uh, apologies for putting in fakirs. Fair enough. Um, all right, where to go next? Chaos got bit again. Uh, I would go Darklings or Mermaids here, probably, but. I say Chaos. You still like Chaos, all right, I'll do it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm dubious at this point, but. Hello, Crix. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks so much for the subscription, re upping your subscription. And uh, your your heart is allowed to say, Team AJ. Um, A, uh, A440's position is quite good. Uh, still, I think, on Mervates at this point, but we'll see. All right, uh, auction is still going. Uh, if I somehow get bid off chaos, I would bid mermaids at this point. Um, yeah. Any thoughts? Are we getting at all tempted to go for Team Fakirs? I don't think we go Fakirs yet. <laughs> all right, that's fair. We have to go into single digits. Do you think the cures are still tricky here? Agreed. At the same time, I still think the cures could be. I still think the cures could be all right this game. I'm not sure. I, I think I, I, the main reason I say that is I, I do think the cures are getting a decent amount of leech at least, and yeah, even uh, even I think that the keys. Two towns seem to be secure, right? On D3 and F3. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, all right. We got bit off chaos. I would bid dark leads here probably, but. Mermaids maybe? I, I'm not opposed to mermaids either. Yeah. All right. After all that early auction where darklings were being bid the most, now now mermaids are the equal to darklings. Oh, not quite. Darklings get bid down, but so I, I personally am getting somewhat close to wanting to take Fakir's. E uh, it's probably still rough, but yikes! I also don't love giving factions twenty point edges, but Fakir's really might be that bad. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. The auction is, it probably still is a couple more points on Darklings, Mermaids, and CMs before taking Fakirs, but I'm not sure how much more. I think I'd still rather have Darklings or Mermaids currently. I think CMs are pretty good, but I'm not sure they're, I'm not sure, I, I feel like Darklings and Mermaids are five plus points better than Chaos. So, uh, where where would we start? Say as darklings. 
seven e five. I think that's probably what you're doing. So it is that part. It could be a little problematic, but uh, anyhow, it is our turn to bid. Um, I don't know. What do you want to bid here? Mermaids. All right. Mermaids are better than Darklings. I like it. What is this mermaids below darklings? Yeah, I, 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 I do think mermaids are probably better than darklings. To be honest, it, it's just I think there's so many ways the game goes quite just according to track and time and everything for mermaids. But so I'll, for the record, I think part of why I'm not super thrilled about darklings is because nobody's in the east. And I think Darklings would really still like to be in the east on some level, but I just don't think there's anything to be played for there. Yeah, and I also think that uh, the, the, the way the mermaid, CM, and Fuckies expand, so the mermaid, they, they'll be, uh, CM and Fuckies will be around mermaids all the time. Yes. Anywhere the mermaids go, right? So they'll be exchanging leech and they'll have neighbors to make trading houses anywhere, everywhere. Uh, all right, we got bid down. I would take Darklings here, or I might be, I am, I personally might be okay taking Trakirs at this point. Maybe one more bid on Burmeet? Or is that one too much? It's a lot. It might be, right? Uh, if yeah, I'm okay going over. I I mean I think mermaids have a very safe game. Uh, it's just we're paying a lot to play that game now. But so if if we hop onto fuckies, we leave the spades and we take the workers, right? I think you still just take the spade. I think it's fine. I think the spade gives you enough flexibility on how you're going to open. Um, and I think you can just take an early worker's power action if you want as Fakir's here. I don't see anybody... Well, I guess Darklings would like the workers, probably. So there is some fight there. I think it's just really hard to pass up on the value of a spade. But Double Temple is tempting, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that is worth it, but... Uh, we don't have to worry about it. We are just playing with mermaids. Age Age Eight is the hero that goes to Fakir's. We have uh, AJ on Darklings and McStebs on Chaos. So uh, we do see an Insta C1 Darklings, which is fair. Uh, I would go E4 here, I think. I think I'm always starting on that hex. Yes. All right. I suspect the next is just always going to be D5, but I guess we can see what Fakir's does. But I can't imagine Fakir's is going to do anything earth shattering. I think Chaos Magicians have to open E3. Like what if you what if you open D two? Okay, so Chaos does not have any neighbor on D four. Well, that's yeah. that's kind of wild, but I I don't like starting D two mermaids at all. Yeah, uh, I would still just start D five here. I think it's fine to give Chaos the center, but yeah, all right. You guys are hoping for a good Fakir's game? I, I, I kind of am hoping for the whole Fakir's too, but... The 
the real question is where are Darklings starting? Are they going to go E5 here? Um, or are they just going to go out east? E5 is, E5 is too good to pass up. Right? You, you, you start on E5 and you pick E6 first move. I think so too. I think I think it's worth it for him, but we'll see. So if if he digs e six, then he's he he gets the leech from cm two. I agree. It's it's there's a ton of upshot to the leech and everything, and that that green hex on f four should work, and that could be a sanctuary town. The far west can be a four hex town, and then Darklings eventually find another town. It it looks pretty good. I feel like that's what you were bidding for, but no, he does go in the east. Potentially tries to entice chaos over there. Uh, I think that's good news. I think that's generally good news for Fakirs. Uh, because that does mean Fak Although this is a problem for chaos now, because chaos starting in the center. You probably do lose E8, but then you can just get the green instead. So, yeah, this is this is this is a slight shift. Uh, yeah, this is this is interesting. This is a fun little wrinkle. We do still get center chaos. I think that makes the most sense still. It so, is... darkling, darklings going east is good for us as well, right? I think it's fine. I don't know if it matters much. Uh, we take worker power here. Stick with the plan. Yeah. All right. Darklings probably takes priest, but maybe coins. Yeah, it just goes priest. All right. The real question now is where do we upgrade? Um, I think it's D5. Yeah, I think so too. We have more leech at D5. I think we have more leech there, and I think this just maybe is where the sanctuary is supposed to go. Yeah. Because uh, I think the real upside, the more I am paying attention, I think the real upside is uh, we do get E5 now, um, and so now I think we can build a 4-hex town over at E4, E5, F2 type thing. We could build a sanctuary town uh, kind of right in the middle, and then we can probably build a town in the upper right on those four hexes. Yeah, C four B five E ten, right? Yeah, and we'll mostly we'll have C M at D six B four, hopefully. Correct. You you definitely have neighbors up on these northern hexes at some point, you know. So uh, I think I think we still can go for like a three town game plan. Uh. The real question, the real question that becomes next is what? Yeah, do we even want Earth One, um, or are we just taking Fire One? I I feel like we might just take Fire One, but so if if we take Fire One, then everyone else takes Earth One. Yeah, I think that's fine, but uh, I do think we just have to double dig this action anyhow. Yeah, just in the town that. Case chaos would take it, yeah. Um, so the one hex is F two. Uh, the other one is probably just take and build C three. But I'm, I guess there's some argument to E five. C three guarantees you more leech. E five may give you more leech. Yeah, what do you what do you prefer? C three. Okay. I'm also taking C three. I would instantly build C three then. That's what you're feeling. Yeah.
All right. They also are predictably taking a fire one, earth one here. Presumably they're going to just go for the usual earth two, air two for their second favors when they build a sanctuary. I'm a little curious where Fakirs are going to upgrade here. Feeding Chaos Magicians seems nice, but I, they also, I guess, want a temple there probably too, so... E6 is the best for Fakirs to upgrade. Uh, well, anyhow, the big question for us is what do we go? Uh, I personally am still kind of a fan of just taking Fire 1. Um, I am not sure how many dwellings we're really trying to build this game for network, given that there's not there's no dwelling pass tile, there's no dwelling scoring, and I'm not sure how much we should be fighting for network. Um, and I kind of like the Temple Fire 1 and just go big economy this game, but I also think Earth 1 is fine here. So um, yeah, I, I think I think our decision has to be made right now though, because we're either taking Earth One and building two more dwellings, or we're quite possibly losing the chance to take Earth One. Yeah, I. I'm inclined towards Earth One, because. Uh, I think we, have, we already have a good, you know, like a good start going, a good economy going with our workers. And with the leash that we're getting, we might be able to get coins too, soon enough. All right. Uh, we do see Darklings going air too, which is fun and funky. Um, so there's a little less Earth 1 pressure that way. I think there's not a ton of coins in the game, so I think Fire 1's quite good. But I think Earth 1 is just always fine. So you want to take Earth 1 with this action? Um, well, now Darklings going for air two makes make me think that we should go for fire one now. Yeah. All right, I'm taking fire one then. That's what I want to do. What do you feel about air two on Darklings? Generally, I don't really like Air 2 on Darklings, um, mostly because as Darklings, you just don't need the spade actions. So now, really, the only action you want is mostly coins actions. So the question is, how much are you going to be able to get them? And should you have just taken Fire 1? But he's also playing a slightly interesting game and in trying to get cult rewards, but they come kind of so late. Like, I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting sequence. I don't think it's terrible i don't think it's i'm not sure it's as strong as just taking fire one and setting a priest to fire yeah um but it does mean that uh, the other reason i don't love air two is because you, you you expect chaos is probably going to air two and i'm not sure that you're positive that fakirs aren't eyeing up an air two at some point this game uh and so that kind of that kind of makes me think that if everybody has air two and we're expecting everybody to be kind of building and upgrading next to each other, that everybody just has tons of power, which lessens how good air two is as well. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I like we'll see how it goes, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not too convinced. I, I think Chaos Magicians look like they're having a good opening still, but it does look like Fakirs are going to fly and beat them to E8, so that's something. There's a lot of pressure on that B2 hex between Fakirs and Darklings, but Fakirs managed to have an actually good opening here. Does take a late Earth 1, though. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure I would have taken that single dig. 
if I was them before I took Earth One, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they they should probably have gone for the economy favor and not Earth One. Those look like Fakirs are going to pass first. So Darkling might just have started regretting sending that priest to air. Yeah. Because they could have potentially done E2 this round itself. I think Darkly's position is still fine here, though. Um... I, I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think anything's been resolved yet. Kiers do just pass for a bunch of coins. I'm expecting Darklings to pass for the spade. Yeah, so that's just, that's a, that's a small dream I had that just got killed. I think we're probably just passing for a priest. Yeah, priest is good. It's not going to do a ton for us, but... So, what about free energy? Uh, the sh Sorry, the ship score. We could take that, right? That allows us to dig once, maybe, a single speed. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm buying up. Um, I'm not sure any of these other guys are opening coins next round. Um, or it even might let us dig again next round, depending on how the power actions are going to break down. And it does come with three points. And yeah, yeah so we just take ship score here. Yeah, I think we should go for ship score. I think so too. I think it gives slightly more than the priest does. Uh, I probably am trying to send priests to water if they're going to let us. Uh, that just gives us nice power. I don't plan to advance... Oh, I guess we could advance ship next round. We could go to a second ship in. Hmm. We'll but see. that will be just for the points, right? It's it, can give us, it can potentially give us one more dwelling if we are dig on C4 and we're day 11, right? Correct, exactly. I, I think we have just enough workers. We could hard dig C4 and build whatever that is, A12, is it? Yeah, I, don't, I should turn on the numbers, but A11, A I guess. But, so, you have, so you put the coins action first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we're getting coins to start next round now, which means we'll have tons of resources. I think we could afford to just ship, build some more dwellings. We'd be well set then to just build some trading posts in round three, possibly also just get a copy of Water 1, depending on how good it's looking. So we'll see. Gray, you think Chaos have an amazing start here? Getting that priest to priest to fire an opening. Oh, and the coins. Yeah, they did get the priest action, the coins action, and we're on the big building tile and are passing here. I, I agree Chaos are having a good start, but I still I still think Chaos are going to have quite a bit of issues if Fakirs are flying to E8. If Fakirs don't fly to A8... Oh, if Chaos took Water 1? Oh yeah, that's a surprise. They didn't take Air 2. Uh, that's a bit greedy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think Chaos should have taken Air 2 here still. Um, I think that's probably too easy early to take Water 1, but uh, that does up the Water 1 pressure a little, although I guess there's still a copy of Earth 1. Um, I, I still am not too worried about getting Earth 1 this game, but I do kind of think I need a round... I do think we want a round 3 Water 1 fairly badly. It is very good for Darklings that Chaos didn't take air to. I do agree with you guys in chat on that front as well. The less the less power income flowing around, the better. For Darklings. I think it was an obvious air too as well, Gray. I think I think that's too early for a water one for Chaos Magicians, but um I guess Chaos really wants water one and is worried about getting blocked. I don't know. It's alright. 
Anyhow, uh, as for Team Mermaids, we're just taking the coins first action, right? Not going to risk it? Yeah. All right. I Let's agree. take the coins. I agree. Uh, responding to chat, does Chaos get double dig here? Yes, Chaos will get double dig this round. So they would they would advance ship and dig C two E seven, I think. Yeah, I I think it's still pretty good for Chaos magicians. I think the real I think they're just gonna miss some things down the line, but we'll see. Um. Admittedly, Fakirs sort of look like they're building another temple, which means they might not be defending. Maybe they're not defending E8, which is going to scare me. If Chaos still gets to E8 somehow, then I'm very, I'm still concerned about their game. But but I don't think they can they can reach E8 this round. So Fakir would still have another round to reach E8. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, our round still has slight questions. I kind of want to send the priest to... Part of me wants to send priest to uh, water. The other part of me says we should just take the priest power action on the wheel and get greedy and go to three shipping this round. Okay, I think it's better if you if you send the priest to water, then buy a priest and upgrade your ship. That's, I agree. I think that's probably the best sequence. Okay, E8 does get blocked. Age 8 is doing his job, everybody. Uh, the priest action okay. disappears, though. Darklings take it. That's a bummer. I think we have the bar, so... Like, we don't need the bar we would get from water, right? Because we are already... Full on bar, almost. I like, just wanted, full, but... I yeah, I just wanted priest to water because I'm a greedy son of a gun that wants the cult points later, but it's not that important right now. So, I think I'm back to we just advance ship, hard dig C4, build A11. I think that's a good round still. Yeah. That's what you like as well. Okay. Do we use the single speed, or are we going for the hard dig? I'm just gonna hard dig, but I guess the single dig, the single spade is available. Um, but yeah, my instinct was to hard dig and save power for other stuff. Well, I think we have enough workers. We should just hard dig and possibly get another coins action, or just save the power to get double dig actions overtaking single digs, but. Yeah, yeah, that sounds better because dark things do not have the power to take points, and neither do chaos magicians. Yeah, and so Fakirs might, but I the, the the amount of power in this game is actually not that substantial for some of these factions. We're getting fed a lot of leech, and I think we'll still get a lot of leech this game, which is good. But ooh, and Fakirs take workers. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think we just have like a guaranteed coins next round again. It looks like. Uh, Dark leads are definitely building a lot of dwellings this round, Gray. I don't know when they're going to build their sanctuary, um, but I, I, I think building a ton of dwellings in round two for Dark Lanes is actually totally fine in a dwelling round. I think it's fine to skip your sanctuary. They'll be up to six, six dwellings. That would be as much as we have, just without the coins. Yeah. Guys, it's a dwelling round. Darkling is getting all their dwellings out. Like, I, I agree that Darkling's getting their Sanctuary out of round two is often very good, and it's often the play, but I think Darkling's round here is actually totally fine to just build a bunch of dwellings. 
you'd like this more if they just took Earth 1 instead of Earth 2. I agree with that. If Darklings were just sitting on Earth 1, and that they were building a ton of dwellings this round, that probably is better. But <laughs> Fire 1 has run out this game before Earth 1. Yeah, that's, that is a fun thing to note. Uh, hey, uh, what's everybody else doing? Uh, is there a chance that we're going to get to pass for this here trading post tile? Because that would be the absolute dream. Uh, I don't that. Well, he's my dumb one. Chaos takes big building, <laughs> and then Fik uh, maybe Fakir skips their cult step. That's true. But I think Chaos takes big building. So it, it, assuming Fakir takes their cult step, uh, I think we get to pass for the trading post tile. And oh, God, is that going to be like, yeah. I'd be such a fan. Yeah. All right. Come on, Team Mermaids. Let's leave the trading post tile. Fakirs, you want that cult step. I don't know why, but. He has to push on air if he wants to get the speed and the burgers. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Take the air step and then send a priest to air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems that seems totally worth it. And he does it. Yeah. All right. All right, the game plan is working, folks. Uh, all right, this is a clear traded post pass tile, right? Agreed. Agreed. All right. Now the real question becomes: Are we templing for water one next round, and then building traded posts, or do we just build all four traded posts? I think we should go for water one. I think so too. I think we go water wanted build two traded posts. Uh, although that takes eight workers. Oh, we have eight workers. Look at that. Uh, so if, if you go for all, all the trading posts, then you won't have any workers to build either a sanctuary or a stronghold in the fourth round. Uh, yeah, I mean, the other downside is we have fire one too, so we don't super need that much coin income. And having a second priest income this game is still reasonably good with trying to spam ship scoring, with the cult still being kind of open. Uh, we take a coins action here, or actually we can wield a coins action, right? Can we get, can we greed priest to water? Uh, if, uh, fakirs upgrade near darklings, then they get the power to get the coin action. All right, you're right. It's too risky. Um, so we just take coins here and if we don't get priest to water, it's honestly not that big of a deal. Yeah. All right. Uh, so do Darkling send Priest to Water? They don't. Okay, we still get Priest to Water if we want it. Uh, I guess the bigger question is: Is there a Water One Rush? Uh, Darklings, I think, are... Uh, Darklings don't have the coins for anything. Yeah. Even Fakis don't have the resources for water. We can't get the priest on water. Alright. I agree. We send priest to water. We don't have temple on water one anyhow, I guess, so... So I think the dream for us is next round we're just sanctuary for era one as well on top of all this, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, we will be a bit worker tight in terms of doing some things, but should be pretty good still. The other nice thing thus far is that Chaos have gone for a pretty cult-heavy game plan, so they really haven't been fighting for shipping scoring yet.
are we like is it possible to take earth one with the sanctuary oh because we would be some dwellings after that yeah i mean that's actually true there might be a copy of earth one with our sanctuary next round uh yeah we'll have to weigh that i mean the air one is going to be like probably 11 points but the earth one might be 12 or 14 or something anyhow yeah huh yeah <laughs> yeah if there's a copy of earth one for this there in round four that's that might even be yeah that might actually be the perfect outcome Uh, the real question, I guess, is who are we feeding leech to while we're templating for water one? I think we should not be giving any leech to chaos. Because they are really short on points now. They are looking for the points at four. I... So it's either four or F two. Yeah, I don't see a good reason to F two because we'd be giving it to multiple opponents at that point. Yeah, so E four it is then. I think yeah, I think we go E four. Also, hey everybody, this is why you don't necessarily take water one um, before as chaos because uh, chaos wind up is winding up t building a temple this round anyhow um, and. Now they take air two, which, but yeah. Oh, well, uh, I'm curious what else they take here. I mean, normally I would take air one, but they might be thinking about water two. Yeah. Oh. Water two still would not be able to give them the speed from the air cut. Oh, hey, if Chaos just gave Fakir's power, so yeah, upgrading E4 looks super clear here, because Fakir's won't even get power from it for the first upgrade. Yeah. So yeah, that's... Nifty. And they'll give you back to power when they upgrade D3. Yep. So we, we also have the option of using the double speed. Does that help us? Like, we just we just take and leave it. I've, I've been looking at that, yeah. I, I, like... I don't super want to build the dwellings this round, but I think it's pretty safe for us to just double dig and assume nobody's going to mess with our hex. Oh, wait, Fakir's take double dig. Well, there goes that theory. All right, that's fine. Uh, I do think we eventually want to take some more double dig actions because if we're trying to make three towns, we still need a bridge and at least four spades. Yeah, at least four Curious what Darklings are going to do here the rest of the rounds. Ooh, they send another priest to air. Wild. So. <laughs> This is kind of a strange game where I said Darklings and Fakirs tend not to fight the cult very much, and here Darklings and Fakirs have each sent a bunch of priests off to the cult. Um, yeah, this is this is a bit funky, but it's it's interesting watching some different stuff go down. Yeah, I think if if one of them planned for this, it would have been fine. But <laughs> both of them went for it. It's kind of messy. Yeah. Agreed. And also Fakir did not go for air too, so they have that. Yeah. Yeah, I think for yeah, I don't know. This is this it's a fun it's a fun game thus far. Um Fakirs are feeling the effects of not having quite enough coins here. If they could manage to build two dwellings and a trading post this round, that would be like super good for them. But uh, it, 
they have the workers for it, but not the coins. Uh, I think, yeah, I like our game has gone well because we're just playing, we're playing big economy. I mean, we still have to make up enough points, but I like a lot of where we're at. Darklings are yet to take a story Yeah. Oh, Darklings are just taking a town. I wonder if this is two key town for Darklings. I think that's what they're going for. Yeah, it is. Gotta fight the cults hard. I think I'm okay with this. I think their game plan shifts to I thought there was easy cult points, but apparently there's not. But we just win water cult and. That's fine. Yeah, we can we can maybe take some points off the fire cut. Yes. a priest or two. Yes, I agree. There's uh, or the earth track. I mean, there's still we're gonna have some priest production here, but um. All right. I'm not sure it matters where I'm putting this trade. Like the two trading posts are going to go where they have neighbors, and I don't know if it matters the order. Yeah. Doesn't matter. All right. The real question is Chaos Magicians going to go onto the ship tile or not? The, the super dream is we just managed to get the ship tile. Actually, the big building tile is very good for us, too. Um, I think we need the big building tile because we'll be out of orders. Yeah. We have a slight worker trouble. Uh, so, responding Weber to you in chat. Um, okay, the last copy of Earth 1 is gone now. But, uh, I, Weber, I think Air 1 this round is wrong simply because we could take Air 1 next round with a Sanctuary is better that the sequence of going water one into air one is better than just taking air one here uh the ship tile does get taken darklings are about to pass for the big building tile probably so that's a slight bummer for us um but i guess there's still just worker power coin for us or something uh but i we don't we can't pass on building this traded post here Oh, hey, we actually get the big building tile anyhow, because Darklings decides to build a dwelling, so it is still Team Us. Uh, yeah, you think take big building tile, we're going to Sanctuary, we need workers to build some more dwellings. It looks pretty clear cut to me, but curious if you're seeing something I'm not. Yeah, big building tile is... And I would say we can still go for a double speed action next round. We have the coins and the workers. Agreed. I think we would quite like. I I I I, I agree. I would like. The, I I'd like the double speed. We're we're slightly short workers, but we'll make it up through a bit of leech by sending priests to cults or something. You you make uh, you need six workers, right? Four for the sanctuary and two for the dwellings. Yep, which is what we have, so that's perfect. The the coins are a little short though, because mermaid sanctuary is eight, so we need twelve coins to build that stuff, and we're gonna have nine. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we're three coins so short, but we have one extra power already, so we're two coins short, but we have two priests and some leech that'll come in. Yeah. So the priests won Well, that's a bit sad. I guess it doesn't really matter. 
Yeah, I two is same for us, right? Yeah, yeah, it is the same. We still just need a bridge eventually, and yeah, we were never okay. Yeah, yeah, never mind. It, that doesn't actually matter. It actually gives us some leech. Some yeah, I mean, we'll get leech from them when they build next to us. The real question is, are they taking double spade again? Oh, that would be gross. Or chaos? Maybe we're not getting double dig. That would be a bit of. That would be a bit rough. Well, chaos has to take coins if they're able to. Yeah. Chaos, chaos might be looking to get to three ships. Chaos is hit, trying to hit three ships. Yeah. Okay. So we do get double dig here. Um, but we probably need to take it right now just in case Vikiris want it. Yeah. So I think we build a B3 because there is a bunch of construction that will be going on there. Like A5, A6, A7. Fakir is going to build all of it. I agree. And then I would prefer right. to just take B5 as well. Um, because I think I five could be cults. Like, right? We we're, it looks like we're gonna get some water cult digs. So I I think we can leave I five for later. You mean I two? Uh, I two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have the hex numbers on them. Just throwing out numbers apparently that are completely wrong. That's that's what I'm here for. Uh, deranged. Why not just double dig E five back? Uh, because I don't really need E five, and that's wasting a spade basically. Uh, also, to be a little clear, everybody, the the dream is we're still hoping for three towns, right? The game plan here is make three towns, and so it always involves a bridge. This this sanctuary town in the center that doesn't require a bridge is neat, but uh, I don't see how we can get three towns otherwise. Because now all that we need is a bridge, right? Because we have the digs from the cut. Yes, I agree. We send a priest to water. We have the digs. I don't think anybody's gonna mess with those hexes. I'm a little, I'm a little, just a tiny little worried about a ten uh, cult digging it and then trying to build it in round six just in case somebody worries about it. But I think that's my paranoia talking over my anything's actually gonna happen to it. Yeah, because I, I doubt darlings are ever gonna be able to reach a ten. I I agree. So I I agree. I think everything looks pretty set here. The thing we really need is we do need neighbors in the upper right because we need to build our trading posts up there. But uh, I think I think that's gonna happen still too. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, chaos is going for three ships. He is gonna reach D six, D seven, A twelve. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. So he'll he'll build those hexes and we will have neighbors actually up here. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. Cool. Um so priest of water here. Uh I guess we could sanctuary air one. I'm not sure what the priority is. I think we should uh put the priest first. Actually, maybe we should just sanctuary for air one. The trading post tile is open, so hey, we sanctuary and run. There might, yeah, I think there's a chance that we build sanctuary and pass. Now that I'm looking closer, Um, the other yeah. thing to pay attention to is if there's actually going to be fire two pressure into the final round. Um, there is a lot of bridge pressure also, which maybe not a lot, but chaos still needs their bridge that they haven't taken. CM so might only get. Two towns, so there might not be a pressure for fire two. And even darkling might only get two towns unless they are planning something in the bottom, say H five, H four. Yeah.
Oh, interesting point, guys. I see. Chaos can't take his bridge without scoring his town immediately. Int yeah, I, I forgot about that. So our Chaos actually going to try? Hmm. <laughs> Fakirs are complaining a little about the yellow hex disappearing in the east. Some good old ribbing there. Um, so we are going to have the option here to just pass onto the trading post tile. Um, and that doesn't look good. That is straight eight points. Like we have to build two trading posts and one dwelling, I think. C4, A11, and B5. Yeah, and we have the resources for it. Uh, it there's no way all the pre spots on water disappear. Yeah, I, I, I say pass. You agree? We just pass. We don't need this extra dwelling right now. Yeah, pass. You we'll make the dwelling in the next round. All right, I like I like the position still. We're at forty four points. Uh, we do have some priests that really need to get to the cults next round, but we can achieve that. So we have like twenty points coming in with two trading houses and the bonus card. Yeah, there are one, so that's twenty four. Okay, okay, okay. I missed that. Yeah, so I mean, that's 68. We should be getting three towns, I think. Uh, it looks like that's going to happen. Um, we should win. We should win Water Cult, although, gosh, Darklings are sending a lot of priests to the cults this game. But uh, we definitely need to get another priest off to the Water Cult. Yeah, I don't think they would be able to send any more priests to cults. I agree. They already are producing two. I thought they were going to build Sanctuary still, but they haven't. I don't think they can afford Sanctuary. It does, because yeah. They, they, they might have to build expensive trading houses anyways in the East. Yeah. I don't think anyone else can make three towns in the last round. Not looking like it. Um, it does look like we're going to have the option to have just enough. Assuming assuming Chaos are going to build that uh, one more thing next to us. I think we're going to have the power to open next round with the bridge. Um, We'd have to burn below six power tokens, but I, I think that's okay. It doesn't look like we need double dig anymore. Yeah. The only small risk, I think, to go in bridge first action is if somehow we don't get a priest to water. I think that's pretty sad, but... So I don't think you need a bridge first action because I don't think Chaos Magicians will go for a bridge first action. I mean, they could. <laughs> Since they have been dealing their towns for so long, and they wouldn't want to make it in the next round, right? Just before the last round. It's tough, right? Like, I mean, you'd rather make a town than not make a town. But, uh, yeah, our chaos committed to just having a very quick round five to guarantee the bridge in round six. I don't, I don't know the answer. But uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll get to look at the start of next round and decide what we're gonna do, right? But I. I think there I think there's definitely an argument that we need to get our bridge out of the way, but I would say we like we open the round with priest on water and there will be a bunch of leech coming in because everyone will be making trading houses. Yeah, that's true. That would, that would give us enough power to bridge up and probably pass for points in the next round. 
Yeah, I, we'll see. Um, things are certainly okay still for us. So. Because in like, if we say that uh, CM might not get the bridge, so they still have the option to double dig F4. Wow, Darklids just took another priest power action. I I think Darklids are going to send a priest to water here, which seems crazy to me, but. Yeah, that does not feel like one. This air two for Dark Leads, I think, is looking as compared to just taking fire one. But I guess they want air cult. I don't know. They do have a lot of cult points. It's it's not a Dark Lead style I would typically go for, but uh I don't know. This is this game's taken some interesting directions for sure. McSteps is really thinking here on what to do with chaos. I thought he was just gonna build two dwellings, but Maybe he's thinking about the bonus. Okay, he bears that value. Yeah. That's good for us. Well, hopefully he builds. Yeah, I mean, we're hoping that he's building one more up by us because I still can't quite put the trading. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much, right? We don't. The one of our trading posts. We're going to have to go for fire two anyhow, so then I can just rebuild the trading post. In order to make the town, yeah. So I guess that's fine. It can wait. And since we are relying on the current takes, I don't think we will. We we'll, we can only make one town to start with, and then we'll have to build up the other two one by one. Ooh, shipping for Darklands, actually. So he is trying to get a third town location, I think. Which probably can make it to a third town. Probably? Uh, not sure. The coins are still rough for Team Darklands here, for sure. I think they would, they would go for H5, H4. I do hope that Fakir comes on I7 and gives them a new so that they can build a town. Yeah. Hey, our neighbor's here. Who's winning? asks Deranged. Uh, I think we're winning. I think Chaos have a reasonably nice game going here with three ship and some decent economy and okay cults, but I think Chaos is only going to find themselves able to make one town, and even that town is at risk of getting bridge blocked. I think Darklings are running some fun and slightly different cult heavy thing but i just don't think it's going to quite work out i think fakirs are doing fine and they're going to get two towns it looks like but i'm not sure fakirs I, i'm not sure fakirs are just getting enough points hey loki you're okay no need to woof okay there's the bridge Oh, he is just going to bridge. Okay, uh, well then I agree. I don't think we need a first action bridge necessarily. I think Chaos still wants another bridge, but they're not in position to place it anywhere yet. Um, Chaos takes a single step town. That does make a lot of sense. They're still fighting cults. Yeah, the whole, I thought we were going to get some decent cult points this game, but Darklings going for two key town definitely took away some of the easy cult points I thought mermaids were going to get, but. Yeah. Um, but. I think I mean... it was. Uh, the Darklings were sure that they weren't going to connect, so they chose to go for the pirates. Yeah, I think that's right. 
Um, so interesting here. The ship tile is going to be open. Um, I'm not sure there's a way for us to have the fastest round, but I guess there's relatively little reason for us to open bridge because I, I think our new dream is that we somehow get away with like trading post, trading post. I think Priest of Water is still pretty mandatory. The extra spade's very important. But after those three actions, if there's any way we can pass under the ship tile, that seems also very good. So that way we can get the bridge first action in the next round. And then, yeah, you take, you'd have to take bridge. It does mean that we'd be scoring our towns a bit late, but the upshot of being on the ship tile means that even if we're scoring late towns, we can just take ship towns and they're still very valuable. But we can't take coins here, and yeah, I just don't think we need to take a bridge. Uh, I think the first action maybe is just Priest of Water, making sure that we get to step 8 here. Because if you, if you don't do it, that thing that your position is good. Yeah, so Priest of Water? Yeah. Alright. The coin situation at this table is wild. Like, Fakirs now have enough coins, but just looking at Darkling's situation of workers to coins, looking at Chaos's workers to coins, um, yeah, it's 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 a wild, it's very tight coin game, which was foreseen, and even with everybody going Fire 1, it's still... We're the only faction that had trading posts really on the board, though, too. Um, I think, yeah, I think our game's just gone... Pretty smoothly on a lot of fronts. I, I guess it just maybe I'm overestimating how many points we're actually going to score, but Darklings do go for another priest of water. That's kind of this. It feels like too much cult fighting for Darklings, in my opinion. You're you're sinking so many what could be two point digs, but we'll see how it pay, we'll see how how it finishes for Darklings this game. Yeah, I, I don't think it, it they look very good. Yeah, we do see the pretty predicted double dig from Chaos. So Chaos is gonna definitely want another bridge. <laughs> uh, Darklings are joking about their econ imbalance. Yeah, uh, I think traded post in the far upper right. I think that's where Chaos is most likely to upgrade. Or maybe we want free leech over two for ones. I don't even know. I think our next. You can, act... a... you can put a freeze to fire. I could. Or maybe two. But so I guess the argument. So I guess we got to loop down. Like my plan, I think, is still to try to build two trading posts and pass for the ship tile. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to spend time fighting cults yet. I think we fight cults if we aren't passing first. Yeah, so I think we go for the trading post on A11. Okay. okay. I yeah. agree. That looks good. So in case CM passes, but we have to build the bridge this round itself. Yeah, I mean, we like as soon as we like. I agree. If we're not passing first, we also have to take the bridge action like instantly. But I don't think Darklings can possibly hate on the bridge action here. It makes no sense. Fakirs can't take a bridge to hate it either. So like. The only other faction that wants a bridge is Chaos. They can't currently take it. So I, I agree. I think we're safe to just not take the bridge yet. Try to push to have a fast round and just pass first. Um, and then we just open next round with bridge. The slight downside of opening next round with bridge is we do have a lot of hexes that we need to build dwellings on. Um, but...
In fact, I almost want to just build one more dwelling because our worker economy is pretty awful, but. Yeah. Gosh, the ship tile is very, very tempting, obviously, though. Uh, so I don't know. If we get offered the ship tile here, do we take it or do we greed out a dwelling? Chaos might pass here for the ship tile, the more I'm looking at it. That might be their plan. Although they can't build the bridge first action unless they have a dwelling on one of those tiles. So yeah, actually they're not going to pass yet. At least they shouldn't. They also have six point trading posts to build. Hmm. They also really have a coins issue. Okay, they do go for the trading post. So we greet out the dwelling because they will need the dwelling to place the bridge. Probably not. They need a dwelling to build the bridge. Um, the Kiers don't seem like a threat to pass at all. They clearly want to build trading posts. Um, Darklings have a lot of resources and don't really want the ship tile, you don't think? So yeah, it really comes down to wood camp. Wood would Chaos pass onto the ship tile without being able to put the bridge where they want to first action and risk getting bridge blocked? Um, I think I think passing is worth it because if like that one worker, we can just convert a priest. We have five priests, so. Yeah, I think we should pass. That's the best way. So that guarantees so, it. Although, so I'm at the same time, greeting it is tempted because I don't think anybody's going to pass. And even if chaos does pass, we get the, we just get the big building tile, which is fine. It's not as good. Yeah. But this is a tough one. So you, want, so you want to build or you want to place the bridge? I, I would build the dwelling I, is what I think I would do here. I think we still just want the workers. Because I, I think part of the problem is I think we are somewhat fighting network, and I think we're going to temple for fire two, probably build another trading post in order to make our towns, and then we're still going to want some workers to build dwellings with. Uh, there's a lot of blue hexes that are going to be left on the map, and I think we can possibly just win network this game too. So, okay, that's... so you would be putting, say, five dwellings and one temple. I think that's what I want to do, yeah. Oh, well, and a trading post, right, to finish the town. Oh, wait, we don't need a trading post. I see. Okay. Seven numbers. You already have six. So I don't think they're that trouble workers if we don't have to dig at all. Hmm. Like we have six, six workers. We, have, we already have six workers, right? And we need to put out five dwellings. Say six dwellings. I think you're I right. Guess. Maybe maybe we just yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we just play it safe. We just we can always take worker towns too. Yeah. All right, fine. Uh we're going to be making 9 power. I'm going to convert 3 power to coins here and then pass. Yeah, but uh, like is there uh do we have to be concerned about chaos missions trying to mess up with our town because we'll be blocking his bridge? I'm not sure, but I'm basically out of time, so I stopped worrying about it too much. Um. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think this is fine. There's slight concern still that somehow somebody's gonna mess with one of these hexes and kill our town, but I don't. I don't think it's that likely, but 
Uh, regardless, I think this is just the safest play because we're going to have guaranteed two towns. I don't see any way to block that. We get our bridge. We get... We're, I mean, this pass tile is going to be insanely good for us because we can probably get to at least four shipping, if not just five shipping, and it feels pretty winning. And I think Chaos is our main competitor, and so denying them the chance to make another town and the ship tile, I think all of that's very valuable here too. We have managed to score a lot of points. I do wonder if Chaos is going to wind up just using one of their spades, though, to mess with our, our town space. It might be their best option, unfortunately. I'm not sure yet. I, I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out how Chaos can make a town without a bridge. I guess Chaos could still hope to get a bridge this round. Nope, never mind. He's just going to take the trading post tile, take the points. That makes sense. I think one way for them is to dig through E9 and F6. But they should have planned that way beforehand. Yeah. But they don't have a double speed access. Maybe okay. they take uh, E9 I, and F6, try I to mean, go for a town on the bridge. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know if they have enough digs, but oh, whatever. We'll see. I mean, there's only so much we can do here. We. We have a ton of resources. We we have at least two towns coming in. Um, I think it's unlikely. The more I look at it, I think it's unlikely that we're going to get blocked from a third town anyhow. I think it's just my usual paranoia talking, so... So the other questions then start to become, what are our priorities next round? Clearly I'm opening bridge, because uh, we have to secure that bridge. Then I think it's probably just take fire two. But at a yeah. certain, there is also some cult, there's some priest occults that we might want to get in on. We might be racing for certain towns. We might be racing to build certain dwellings. I'm not, I really don't know. The water cut. Wow, Fakirs are I just taking a town now. I'm a bit surprised at that choice from Fakirs. Maybe they plan to score with you know, by building dwellings. Rapid flight. Yeah, I guess he just wants to secure this hex that Chaos is otherwise going to go to or something. I'm not just... Or, or he was worried about the ship towns. Never mind. He's worried about the ship towns running out because there was only one left. Because Darklings... Did Darklings take a ship town? Who took a ship town earlier? No. They took the first one. Oh, well, there's still one more, huh? Okay, I think that's excessively paranoid then. But oh, well, I get it. I get being excessively paranoid. That's that's how I operate. Uh, as for responding to my chat, finally, um, I agree. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't try to take fire two and fight for network. There's a lot of network points up for grabs between chaos fakirs and ourselves, and I think we can just win it by building a bunch of dwellings. Uh, so. Even though we don't have Earth One, I think it's, I think our game this round, or our plan this round should be to fight Network. We'll see. I mean, the problem is, I want to, I want, I want us to fight Network. I want us to fight Cults. I want us to advance Ship. I want us to make three towns and. Uh, 
I, I, we admittedly don't need to hit all of that to win the game because I mean hitting three towns in the town round and having the pastels work so well and winning network and doing well on the cults is probably overkill. So, so. <laughs> prioritizing it is right. going to be the tricky part. Okay. Uh, hey. Meeple Grande, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We're uh, playing Terra Mystica as a team today, so I'm on voice chat here with Hades, and uh, we're entering the final rounds. We think we're winning, but uh, Chaos, Chaos did dig our blue hex, trying to make our town life harder. So, so that's a fair way to slow us down. I think Chaos are the probably second best position here. So, uh, you agree that we're opening bridge here? Yeah. Open bridge. Yeah. It's necessary. Uh, but we do have to debate if fire two is still necessary or if we have the resources to still fight for this town. Um, I think we can still make this town, assuming there's no more messing around on those hexes. Yeah, so like you build A10 first, then you use a single spade on B5. Yeah, okay. I agree with that. I think that's our next priorities. Um, the question is if Fire 2 is going to run out, but looking at the situation, I don't really see why Fire 2 is going to run out. I don't think Fakirs need it. Chaos clearly doesn't need it. So I think two players would have to hate it in order for that to happen. So it feels like there's not actually a fight for fire too. So I, I agree with you. I, I think we can just build a dwelling, get single dig, then go for fire two, get some towns. It does look like we'll need at least a worker town. Although actually, I guess we have a ton of priests that could just be workers on at least partially. Or we can just make the dwellings first and make the three towns all at once, first time points. Yeah. Actually, Darklings are building their town without Fire 2 now also. So there's really no Fire 2 pressure. I think they, uh, yeah, they, they are probably going for a Stronghold. For their third town. Oh, that makes a ton of sense. You're right. It's going to be a Stronghold. That's fun. Stronghold with two dwellings, I think I'm... Well, oh, the problem is they only they don't have two dwellings. They'd have to build one more trading post, but regardless, I don't think they're taking fire two if they didn't take it yet, so And I, I still I do think that they needed some more points. Yeah. Uh all right, we're building A ten here. Yeah. I agree. We take this hex and then we find out if anybody's gonna if chaos is gonna further mess with us i think chaos probably doesn't mess with us further but uh so anyhow der deranged uh yeah i mean i i guess there's not much pressure on single dig but i don't know i i i think it's safest to secure our town spots because the more i look i think there's just no way fire two runs out Also, Gray, I really did think Chaos is in second place. Who do you think second? Do you think Fakirs are second? I think Chaos has pass points and cult points. You guys still like Fakirs? We'll find out. I really think Chaos is in second here by a decent margin. Uh, all right. We do single dig and secure this. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. There's no fi there's no fire two pressure. Life looks great still. I might even start getting greedy and trying to send priests to fire or something, or that last priest to earth. Yeah, priest priest to earth is good. If you can manage to own fire, that would be good too. 
I yeah, I agree. I just don't think we actually have to fight. I don't think we have to fight for much here. I guess the question is if we want to fight for any of the remaining towns. Fakirs have one town coming. Darklings have one town. Well, we can try to go for the single single cult town. That looks good for us. Yeah, that's what I just realized. So we could try to take the next town here. Yeah, we can take two towns with fire too. Although, yeah, I don't know. We really don't. It doesn't really matter what towns we get. Because if we get like worker and coin towns, we just build more network and get up to three, five shipping. Yeah. I guess taking the eight point town is important here because I don't. I don't know if Darklings are actually trying to steal water on us, but I think it makes it unlikely that they're going to try to do anything. So uh, one is the eight point down. Which one's the second one? You want to go for coins or the ship? I think we always need a worker town at some point in order to really can tell although actually there's not that many blues left for us mm, and i guess we can just use some priests as workers i don't know what what town do you want where this is this is teammate you yeah, i'm gonna let you just make this call i don't i don't know what, i don't know what you want okay so let's just uh let's, let's just take the eight and the nine but you might need to convert a priest to worker for that Yeah, so you're saying we take an eight point and a nine point town here is what you're thinking? Yeah. All right, I think that does make a lot of sense. So you're right. We'll just convert one priest to worker, which we probably were going to do anyhow. And then we just take some high VP towns. Yeah, I think I like that lion. And then the last town very well may be a coin town just to afford some more ship upgrades. Yeah. Although I guess it's not well, that... If we just make four yeah. shipping... We don't have to hit five shipping. Four shipping's also fine. So now, I think now we go for the cults. Agreed. I think Darklight's next move is probably to dig, and then I think they are still just going to go stronghold, convert two workers to two priests, because they, they only have two priests available then. Um, so I agree. I, I, I don't... I, looking at... My chat's partly helping do some of the legwork I should be, but Fakirs do have two flights available, potentially. Actually, never mind. They only have one because of where their network might be at. I'm not sure. So Fakirs are going to win network, right? I mean, Fakirs are just always going to beat us, I think. We come second in network no matter what. I think so too. Which starts to make me wonder if we're supposed to just snag that 11 point town away from the table, but maybe that's greedy. I maybe think we should go for the three stone water so that we can lock the cart. Oh, just lock up water here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like that. You're right. Let's let's just make sure there's no funny business on water. This is the sort of teammate I need, everybody. Just actually close out a cult. This is what this is the sort of advice I need. <laughs> so you guys are saying nobody's taking water, and I would agree. I don't think Darklings are gonna take water cult. And chaos literally can't. But you know what? I I'm not opposed to the idea of just turning that priest into three resources and making sure nothing unusual happens. All right, darklings presumably are taking the 11 VP town here, which is fine. We will just take a coin town then. I think we can save the town for the last and build up whatever we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we actually need three priests to advance ship. I think we are going to advance ship three times. So I think it probably is just a coin town. Advance ship three times. We have one. We have one priest available. Fakirs also have a free priest available. So maybe we just send a priest to fire here. That also somewhat discourages Darklings, I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's, the towns are just all ours. Nobody else has any. And then, yeah, I think, I think we just let Fakirs beat us on network. We advance ship and just make sure to beat Darklings network, which Darklings network is... As soon as we advance ship, we've already beat their network. Yeah, we just have a very easy second place on network, so we don't have to build that many dwellings. Yeah, because building building dwellings is costing us points, right? Yeah, we don't we don't have Earth One. We don't really want to build them. I've been accepting some of these two for ones, but I'm starting to realize that I don't actually think we need them anymore. So apologies if I've taken too many. I'll decline this one because now that I'm looking at our resources, we clearly already have enough to advance ship three times and make our town, which is all we have to do. I guess we'd like to build our last trading post, but I think we could do that as well without taking more leech. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess. Do you have any other thoughts here? I, it looks to me like we build a dwelling, just take a coin town, advance ship, and build a trading post, I guess, because with air one, that's still decent points. So if, if Darklings build one more dwelling, they would tie us in network. Oh. After okay. So we might need to build one more. Okay. Oh, uh, well, my chat, uh, as usual, is here to help point out obvious things. Uh, Darklings don't actually have a dwelling available to build, so we don't have to worry about that. They clearly can't build a trading post and a dwelling, so...
Uh, also, chat, I'm starting to warm up to your guys' theories that maybe I was underestimating Fakirs, because Fakirs are winning network. But I thought Chaos were going to earn more points this round. Chaos haven't advanced digs yet. Can they still advance dig twice? I'm not sure they can. That feels like maybe an inefficiency for them. I thought for sure they were going to advance digs twice this round. So you guys chat, maybe you're right. Maybe I was underestimating for cures, but regardless, this looks like a pretty clear win for Team Mermaids. Uh, we still have 12 points worth of advanced ship and another trading post brings us up to like 117 and then we pass for 19, 136. Second on network is 148. We want to call to we're into the 150s. I think Fakirs are in the 130s. So I think we won by 20 plus points. And that's after we started the game at like eight or something crazy, right? Yeah, this is this is a wildly high scoring game. Yeah, I also think we got a lot of bonus cards in the last few rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the pass, the pass tiles did fall perfectly, right? We went from trading post to big building to trading post to shipping during rounds three through six. That's pretty yeah. dreamy. All right, Fakir's found a way to... F oh, Fakir's advanced dig digs out. I missed that too for points, fun. All right, I'm just advancing ship, seeing what's happening. Uh, I'm just paying attention to my chat now. My chat is suggesting that um, maybe we were supposed to have... Uh, it's possible we were supposed to have uh, taken the priest power action just to make sure Fakirs aren't going to get it and pass us on Earth, but that's also worrying about nothing, but... Fakir should take the priest here. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Fakir should take the priest and set it to air, but or earth or whatever, but I, I just don't really care. Fakir's passed anyhow, so. All right. Any other thoughts, uh, Hades, on uh, how this game went? Other thoughts you want out into the world, just in general? Well, I think the best way to score is like, you know, you take the bonus card and you match it with the scoring round. Yeah, that's, I, I think that is a somewhat undersold point. Um, one of the one of the ways that you really have excellent games in Terra Mystica is to manage to stack up scoring opportunities. And so like part of why our game went so well is because we we had water one in a trading post round with the trading post pass tile and then later with air one. So we were stacking up four scoring opportunities, um, which is obviously like incredible. Plus all those trading posts were actually setting up for this round too, setting up towns, right? So when you have such efficiency with your actions and scoring, that's when you have these just crazy, insanely great games. Um, and we were able to do that.
I'm just doing some of the obvious moves here at the end. Uh, we could take a priest and send it to Earth, so I'm spending one point of resources to basically knock Fakirs down a point who are probably closest to us. Or if Chaos isn't careful here, I guess I can send priests to fire. Um, but Chaos presumably is sending a priest to fire here. Uh, yeah, Chaos does go priest to fire, so... Wrapping up here. That did force Chaos to lose a point of resources, so uh, that actually was a very, like, it was a, it was worth it. It was, it was minor, but anyhow, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a crazy game. To end this game at 136 points after starting at, like, 8 um, that means in like a normal game, we'd be at like almost 150 uh, before end game. So. But yeah. Uh, I'll look at the power action breakdown in a sec, but I think Air 2 Darklings partly didn't work because I'm not sure Darklings ever got any coins power actions. I think we got coins in round 2 and 3, which was obviously very good for us. Uh, and then we got Bridge, which we needed. We got two double dig actions this game, so our power usage was very efficient. Uh, Fakirs do hit 140, so they're they had a nice game, and indeed they clearly were second. I was definitely way too high on chaos. You guys are right on that front. I think there should uh, some emphasis has to be given to not taking Earth one and going for fire one. Yeah. Uh... I I increasingly have uh, obviously been a proponent of big econ, but um. I, I just think, in general, when you open a bunch of dwellings, Fire 1 is just so strong. You just need so many coins. I mean, we were partly lucky because we got coins actions as well, but uh, it allowed us to yeah, just really build up, hit the Water 1 stuff. The past tiles really supported all that. There, was, there wasn't that much need to build a ton of dwellings this game, right? So even if we had taken... We, we, we had to build a dwelling off Double Dig, and we actually only wind up with 11 structures. So, I mean, it would have been a... 16 point earth one which is like fine but it's pretty underwhelming to take a 16 point favor in round one uh we took a 15 point water one in round three we took a 11 point air one in round four so yeah it's it's very tempting to take early economy favors and then then take your victory point favors later so and, uh, i think we got lucky because we got uh, some points in the network that we shouldn't have gotten. Yeah, I think that's... I, I do think we were a bit lucky on network, for sure. We we didn't have a particularly impressive network. Um, we did get just tons of leech this game, as did Fakir's. That's a lot of why things went so well. Darklings had a super tough game with almost no leech. And then, yeah, we, we hit the track very well. We hit the pass tiles incredibly well. Um, Fakir's had no pass points this game, which often can happen. Um, so definitely a bummer for them. But yeah, just a crazy game for us. 168 points earned is a lot. So even though we paid eight, we went, we bid a lot to play these guys. We, we outscored the competition by just a huge margin. So kind of a crazy one, but. You were pretty sure you had second locked up most of the game. Uh, yeah. Gray is going to bring up some really minor points, which sounds good. Um, the rest of chat. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot to say here. Um, I don't know. Hades, any other thoughts on, uh, yeah. I think they're good. Yeah, well... 
thanks for being uh thanks for joining and jumping at this i i'm glad to have got you on this week and uh for everybody else in chatter that watches these vods please reach out i'm 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 happy to schedule anybody. I, I need to apparently do some more outreach because I've generally been struggling to get teammates a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to make this a fairly consistent thing on Thursdays around this time too. So if anybody ever wants to join in and play, you're more than welcome to. Always happy to have people hop in as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I thanks for joining. And then finally, yeah, Chad, if you have any final questions, just bring them in. Um, otherwise... Yeah. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot for letting me join you and telling you what to do. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. International Clash this Saturday. The finals are going on, so tune into that. I think it's 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, so uh, kind of afternoon Europe, morning in U.S. Um, that's on Saturday. I'll be playing with Team USA. Hoping to pull in the win, but we'll see what region takes it down. Should be those games generally have been very interesting and very cool. So hopefully we'll continue providing that type of awesome game to watch. But we'll see. And uh, who's piloting Team USA is a great question deranged, and uh, we haven't decided. <laughs> it's either Lumen because Lumen is the one that led us to a win before. It's possibly me because I'm the most perky at 9 a.m. and the others are west coasters and they're going to be groggy or it's just going to be nerd cube because nerd cube is the best uh so we don't know <laughs> uh it's at 9 a.m it's 9 a.m central you or it's 9 a.m for my time so it's going to be 7 a.m for uh it's going to be 7 a.m for lumen and nerd cube so uh yeah it's it's a little early but it helps the it helps uh fire X in particular they want it to try to aim for that time slot, which I do think makes a lot of sense. It's kind of the best, it's the best time slot for everybody involved, truly, in terms of letting everybody have a chance to play. Fire Axe has been sitting out a lot of the weeks because it's very hard for him to play those later time slots. So uh, anyhow, it'll be a lot of fun and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Saturday. Uh, I'll probably have an all-player commentary Sunday and then otherwise trying to keep these things happening Thursdays. Uh, I'll wrap it up here, but thanks all for the chats. Uh, thanks very much for joining me, Hades, and helping lead us to another win here on Teammate Thursday. This was a this was a very impressive game. So thanks for your insights and thanks for joining. Yeah. All right, I'm heading off. We'll see you all around later, everybody.